Hello everyone, it's time to talk people management again. Today we want to clarify for you what organizational development, in short it's OD, <laughs> what it means and how it can be effectively exercised inside an organization. Organizational development is about a complex transformation effort that's intended to evolve an organization from A to C. And it's usually done because the environment around us tends to change and we want our organizations to stay competitive despite the conditions. Now, it's not just anything that's done to better an organization, it's a purposeful change effort with a specific result in mind. It often requires technical knowledge, like industrial and organizational psychology, human motivational theories, process thinking or process modeling and project management, etc. Now we want to see HR leading this sort of effort always, but sometimes we don't have the right skills to do so and other times we are not always invited to the party. So by the virtue of this video, we do want to encourage our business leaders to demand HR professionals to play a role in such change processes. So what are the critical success factors of an OD intervention? There are five. One, it's a planned effort. So anything that hits you by surprise or feels slightly disjointed from strategy, it really cannot and should not be an OD intervention. Two, it's an organization-wide effort. So for the change to be consumable and sustainable, it needs to touch everyone in the organization. So it cannot be a management-only exercise. Number three, it's managed top-down, but also bottom-up. Feedback and communication is critical to any change process. So if your leadership team is not showing up or creating the channels to listen to the employees, you are missing out on a big opportunity. Number four, it's done with an intention to increase organizational effectiveness and health. So when we do an OD intervention, we assume there are just enough resources inside an organization and we look for ways to create efficiencies. Unless required, we don't necessarily try to make new investments and no matter what, we try to leave the organization in a better state than found. Number five, it uses behavioral science and knowledge. There are so many change efforts out there that are not scientific, you have to be aware. We highly recommend for an OD intervention to be successful. You leverage your internal organizational data, but also rely on scientific data 50% of the time. So next time when a partner comes and says, we need a change process, now you know what to consider. If you like our video today, please give us a like and if you have any questions, just leave it under the comments section. Please subscribe to our channel for future videos and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now!